Well, that is weird. Hello, Terry here, and today we're going to play in Negative Space, developed by Knick Knack PG. I, is, I still don't know how to spell that name, by the way, sorry. <laughs> Who also developed by Wolf's Wool, a game I, of which I have played back then, uh, like a month, few months ago? Yeah. It's an awesome, ga awesome game, you should totally check it out, by the way. And yeah, here we are once again. There's actually other game that they develop, develop it, but I still didn't have the chance to check it out yet. Perhaps later on. But for now, yes, we are here. This is Negative Space, a short visual novel. I didn't expect this mm, title screen to be like this. Are those eyes bleeding? Or am I imagining things? But uh, yeah, let's start the game, shall we? I don't know what else to do. I actually don't research what genre it is or read the description. So yeah, bl bl blindly jumping in. Oh shit, I cannot read that. <laughs> I remember that one quote everyone likes. If you stare into the void for too long, then it will stare back into you. Oh yeah, I know that quote. If the void is really looking at me right now, then what is it seeing? How will the void describe me? A clown. A goth clown. I will then know how to describe myself. It is hard to put in it into words. Ah! For example, there's been a hole in my chest for as long as I remember. Right where my lung should be. Oh, that, sh that sounds hurt. But sometimes nonsense comes out of it. Wow. Amazing. Sometimes it's colors, sometimes it's sounds, sometimes it's word. Yeah, cool, cool. Sometimes the hole gets larger and it is easier to get nonsense out. And get smaller. And sometimes it shrinks and it's harder to get anything out. Oh. If it shrinks so small, will nothing come out of me ever again? And sometimes I wonder if it grows so large, what will be left of me? Interesting. Poetic, but I still don't get the point. Perhaps later on. <laughs> I shall probably search to figure out how to fill the hole in my chest, but I don't know which direction to go. But if I stay here, then what will become of me in the hole where my lungs should be? Have you tried ask uh, the online maps? I don't know, people nowadays use online maps, you know. Will it grow so large that I become an unrecognizable void that does nothing but stare? And will it stare into me or into someone like me? Perhaps if I cannot go forward, then I shall go backwards. It is better than nothing, right? I think so. But back to when this started. When did it start? How long has this hole been here? It feels like it's been here all my life, but I don't remember it being so heavy. Oof. So I go somewhere, anywhere, to see where this weight comes from. Oh. Oh, look at that. And soon I find my surroundings changing. I love it. Whoa, sudden act. And soon I see there are words surrounding me. Oh yeah, Ips Ipsum. What the hell is Ipsum? Whoa, ooh. And they started growing in number and accumulating like gnats to rotten fruit. Lorem Ipsum. Interesting. Words. It's lagging. Words are echoing around me, but the more they bounce off the walls, the more incoherent they are. Words. Oh, there's something there. I think if we press, we will see it. Can I roll back? Words are echoing around me, but the more uh, they bounce. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, it's the echo. Interesting. It's the same word. So I'm surrounded by nonsense, covered by it, consumed by it, drowning in it. And while I know how to swim, I just don't know how to reach the surfa surface to breathe some fresh air. Okay. So I'm surrounded by nonsense, covered by it, consumed by it, drowning in it. Oh wait, it is the same thing. I can feel the echoes pass through the hole in my chest and vibrate through my entire being. But I am so empty that all I can feel are other people's words instead of my own. And everything I can say is what everyone said, but better and more clever. I say words, I get disappointed. 
Okay. I say words I can hear myself. I say words I can hear myself. I say more words I can hear myself. Interesting. Which one should I read? That one, I guess. Even more words. Are they understandable in this chaotic echoing? Yeah, kind of. Just need to look a little. No? Okay, there you go. And then words are said back to me. At least I think they were, and they sound so... So familiar. Yeah? I try to remember where the words come from. Who were they attributed to? Who was saying them and to whom? To a fictional place, to an audience, to someone. Or maybe. <laughs> Wait, it's just random words now, like... Uh, <laughs> stuff like that, when you match the keyboard. Interesting. Hello? Hello? Can I unsettle that? I'm pressing the button. Am I supposed to wait? Oh yeah, I, I am supposed to select to my positive space. This game is negative space. Now we are moving to the. Whoa, shit, bro, that's bright. <laughs> I breathe in for a bit, taking in the scent, the scant of the sounds around me. The words went right into my lungs, and there's something about how they feel as it fills my chest. Ah, oh, music. So yeah, the game title is Negative Space, and I assume the previous one was the Negative Space, this is the Positive Space. What was this emotion? It feels so... large. Like a large white canvas. Something I can toss my ideas onto and see what they look, do, they look like. Something I can touch, something I can perceive. Something tangible instead of somewhere between my body and its negative space. But it's all in my chest, it's all in my lungs. How do I get all out? Perhaps if I could open the hole in my chest, I could get it out, but right now the hole seems to have shrunk. So how do I get it all out? I don't know. Oh. I place my fingers on where the hole in my chest should be. I press down on it, seeing if I can get underneath. It hurts. It really hurts. Then don't, please. <laughs> Have I been doing this the entire time? Reach reaching? Ripping my chest open for all to see. Wow, kinda... <clears throat> I, I'm, done, I'm not judging your sense. Well, there's no point in trying to let it out now. There's no one around besides the echoes to witness what I want to create. But I am still creating something if there's no one to witness it. And if I'm not creating, what am I then? You are you, I guess. The echoes all around me seem to know the answer, but against the colors all around me, it all seems to warp around me like a black hole. So perhaps I shall try to rip it all open to let out, but I can seem to bring my hands to my chest now. My arms feel like a lead. And aren't lifting even if I, if I try. But I need my claws to carve out my chest this time. I need to let it all out. But I can't right now. Why can't I right now? Why does my chest hurt so bad? Like a black hole sucking everything in, even if it can contain everything it sucks in. Uh, because you're ripping your chest open? A black hole shaped like me? Around all this positive space, wanting to be a part of that ca that canvas of colors, but never able to feel the shape of me. Oh, because what can I put in the blank space that feels like me? What should I put in that void that looks like me? Oh wait, I'm talking too much that I didn't realize. Perhaps my <laughs> avatars are blocking the text. No, I hope it, it doesn't. Holy shit! I'm stupid, sorry. <laughs> Why does the canvas hurt so much? I feel like I'm drowning, I feel like I'm losing myself. Oh. I just realized that there's an indicator for the text to be continuing. And I wish so dearly to disappear and sort of suffocate. Yeah? 
Hello? But I didn't. Okay. And I haven't... Even if I close my eyes and all I see is darkness, I'm still breathing, floating above the colors that keep me ebbing and flowing all around me. Hearing the echoes wash softly as I'm looking up, I finally have a moment to look into the sky and breathe. Interesting. Nick Jack always creates this kind of visual novel. By the way, poetic visual novel. I love it. Slowly. Oh. Steadily. Uh-huh. More. Yep. With emotion. More. Yes. With tears. More. Yeah. Because often I'm overrun with emotions I never wanted. And no matter how much my man's logical tells me what I'm feeling is illogical, the tears still come. Like the clouds. Like the rain. Like the storm. And I'm often left exhausted for drowning in my mistakes, as well as the mistakes of others. I realize now that I've been torn apart by doing this. I've nearly been killed many times doing this. But with each tear shed, with each time I die, I'm reborn. With each illogical storm that comes, I can't help but take in the fresh air in my fortified lungs in the sunshine I never knew could exist. And God, does that sunlight look beautiful? So it will be fine, it will be okay. The storm may come often, may recite longer, but my lungs are stronger. Oh. Yeah, you, you can do it. I don't know what you are struggling with, but you are strong. Is it loading? Am I supposed to press some? Oh, okay, there you go. Negative space created by Pajama Party Projects? Lajama Party? Lajama Larty? Wait, I'm stupid. <laughs> Is it Pajama Party or Lajama la la Larty Projects? Wait, I thought... Oh, uh, see, 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 it's Nick Jack PJ, illustrator, designer, writer, programmer, music, then Valoran, better readers, Momegus, then Valoran. So, yeah, I thought it was Nick Nick PJ, but apparently there's now a team. Very interesting. Special thanks by you, Bob, Bobsy Games, Minute, and NPKCKC for the incredible accessibility GUI based code you can snack here. First people in Lama Fort. Lemasoft forums and Reddit who posted a solution to problem I was having lol. And you, thank you so much for playing. Oh, that's so sweet. So yeah, that's Negative Space. It's a pretty short game. But I love it. It's nice, like a poet. I've been actually meaning to check it out because Nick Jack creates a really interesting game and I want to try more of the game they create. And yep, totally didn't disappoint. So basically, this negative space tells the story about someone that feels, you know, with the situation of the world right now, feels with depression and stuff, always feeling sad and things, feeling the sadness of not just themselves, but the other as well, I assume, and it it's like a storm. They want to scream, they want it to stop, they want everything to be better, but they just can't, you know? <laughs> And the whole stay there, stays there. I don't really understand actually. So then they become more advanced, they become more daring to fight, to go forward, to continue making voice, I think, and try to change the world. Uh, I don't know, perhaps that's too grand. Maybe just surviving, actually. <laughs> so yeah, that's all for Negative Space. I hope you enjoy it. See you later then in my next video. Bye-bye.